What steps do you take to source conference speakers and curate conference panels? You know, it's kind of a broad, very broad answer, but we, we find speakers and, and thereby um, panels or panel ideas or, or keynote ideas from, from everything. It, it's um, reading about what people are talking about on Twitter. It's, it's current events. It's music. It's talking to friends. It's, you know, talking to all of our teams in each of the cities and finding out what's important and what's going on in those communities. Um, everything for us could be a source of, of inspiration, whether it's TV, um, seeing a movie, um, every, everything really can be, can be inspirational. Mm -hmm. um, so from that perspective, it's, it's really about keeping an uh, eye open and, and being curious. Mm -hmm. I think our curiosity is our, is our biggest asset and, and the ability to see connections. You know, we, we talk a lot around um, this ideology of invisibility, mm -hmm. that there's a strong, um, there's a very strong potency around this idea of things being invisible. Mm -hmm. And what we look to do is uncover those aspects of invisibility. So, so whereas people look to connect dots, you know, our premise is that it's, it's very easy to do that because mm -hmm. they're visible. We can all see them when we're young kids and we first learn to learn to draw and things like that. We literally have coloring books that are connected dots mm -hmm. because they're numbered or lettered in a way that's sequential that we can all follow. Mm -hmm. It's much harder to make connections that people don't see. Mm -hmm. So what is it that's going to connect a architect um, planner in Detroit, one of our new cities, to a philanthropist or technologist in Mumbai mm -hmm. that seemingly have no overlap. Mm -hmm. We look to make those relationships and make them relevant. Mm -hmm. And that just comes from being curious mm -hmm. and, and, like I said, keeping eyes open pretty much around everything. Mm -hmm.